I remember that. Okay, this is uh, the latest Star Wars Episode Nine trailer, Rise of Skywalker. This is actually presented at D23, but now we're going to watch it together. Right here now, 3, 2, 1, and... Bye. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just one moment, though. As I was talking to Gabe earlier. Alright, let's go for this. Tatooine? Oh, they're not going to start with the... <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ! Oh, wow. Just a little... Paying homage. The old cast. And the movies. The original trilogy. Crazy. Oh damn. In the father part, like no, that's impossible. We passed on all we know. Bzz. Prequels. A thousand generations live in you now. Damn. That was a cool bit right there. Christmas! Christmas. Log Logan's Christmas! They're Sword not Vigil. dead yet? Oh yeah, they're not dead. What a highly inefficient Ooh. formation to be in. Oh, this is where the commas are gonna be, huh? I was about to say, like, is he dueling like that? <sighs> no, is that part of... If I can see it? Maybe not. But that was a part that I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. In December. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. That's Still. It. Just double check in. I just want to see every single light disabled jewel. <laughs> there was something on Instagram that I saw. The uh -huh. uh, following after me seeing that uh, Ray would be using like the double ended lightsaber. Yeah. It showed like like an over panning shot of I'm not, I think it's her, just falling. No, spinning the lightsaber, falling down, and then going back up. I was like, she helicoptered that shit. So what do you think about the design? About the, because I think that's the biggest thing to really point out because we see these trailers and they just kind of like regurgitate the same kind of like like cuts to like different worlds and stuff like that yeah. characters like responding to everything and just action just back to back not too sure mainly because I mean we've seen the double lightsaber before so they weren't going to just like rehash a double lightsaber mm -hmm. they're going to do something unique with it it's just I don't know. The fact that it folds out like that, I feel... It, it's... That well... Is, that, that can be a huge design flaw when, when in combat, because if someone whacks the hell out of it in the opposing direction, it'll just clamp back up. Or at least it should. It won't, but it should. Yeah. Preferably another lightsaber. Mm. They just kind of saw it off anyway. If that were to happen, it seems like it could have just... It could function like individual like that yeah, it seems it seems unwieldy to use it with one side in that manner you can try and be like oh well you can just use one side and it's like yeah but if you have it folded and you mm -hmm. use one side it makes it really weird to move it about mm -hmm. and then well, I guess you just mute it like that but I was gonna review some of the uh, trailer again to see if there's anything else to ever seeing because a lot of the uh, beginning of the trailer was just kind of like showing us Pretty much both trilogies and yeah. what happened so far. The Skywalkers. I mean, what I noticed is that it's not as like kind of crazy like um, the other red lightsaber. It's not crazy like that where it's like it's just like Kylo Ren, Benjamin. Thank you, thank you, Benz. But as it is really cool that she is starting to use a little bit more of her force powers as we just saw. Mm. Um, she's gonna have another clash with him on a barge but mm -hmm. I'm really not feeling that lightsaber design just because it flicks open like a fucking butterfly knife like yeah. how are you supposed to like use that in combat really yeah so 
I mean, like, if we open up, like, right here, it's, like, it looks like it just, that's two lightsabers just, like, taped together. It does kind of, huh? Yeah, Play which it? I'm fine with, actually. So it can function as, like, two separate or, like, the double-ended. But it's not. It, what? It's one whole unit. Yeah. So. I thought it was bound together at that, like, that thick red line that was on it. Mm. I thought that was, I thought that was something holding them together. But no, they just... They're hinged at the bottom, and it's like, why? Mm -hmm. What good does this do you? It's unwieldy with one hand, and if you're going to unfurl it to use it with one hand, why not just always have it unfurled? Well, I'm hoping that the whole mechanism just locks into place like that so we can prevent any, like... Because <laughs> you know those target lightsabers later on after the movie's release, or even beforehand, kids are going to be like, oh, cool, I can be, like, raised, like, red lightsaber, and it's like, and like, the, like, okay. And they have to use it, like, nunchucks. Yeah. I'm it's, more concerned about the design flaw on that. Because one thing that I've, that I've heard repeatedly over many things that, like, analyze weapons and all that, mm -hmm. the more moving parts, the more likely it is to break. Yeah, for sure. You you ruined your lightsaber by making it flick open like that. Yeah. You know what? Kind of like side tangent. That's how I kind of feel with like uh, some of the ruby weapons, especially like Crow's weapon, where it like turns from a sword to a scythe. It's like, that's cool and all, but I kind of like ask about the durability on that scythe. Yeah, where it's literally nothing but moving parts. Moving parts and like mini blades instead of like one big chunk of metal. Going to like Final Fantasy, like you can make fun of like Cloud's Buster Star all you want, but that thing is huge. It, it, it's a solid chunk of metal. You know what isn't solid? Every fucking weapon in Monster Hunter. They're all like, it's also a gun. Or it's also another weapon. But you know what? They make it work. There's like four transformations just for you to un unholster it. <laughs> Aesthetically, yes, it's it's cool. Sometimes it's a bit much to look at, but it's cool. I like my shotgun axe. <laughs> Functionally, it's absolute trash. But in any case, um, so I don't, I'm not really sure. They've they've been pretty bold with like the lightsaber designs in like this recent trilogy, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not opposed to it at all. My my concern mainly is just like with the story and just like Ray as a character because we've talked about her as like she well lack of a better word, she's just kinda of like a bummy like character just comes from the desert and then just through like circumstances becomes a Jedi. Granted she she's been told to have like a lot of like innate like powers like within her latent. And that's fine and all. It's just that I feel like she needed more, like, practical training to get to where she is. She is a do-nothing nobody. The last time we had a do-nothing nobody, he trained for, like, four movies. Well, three. Which one are we talking about? Anakin. He did yeah. three. Yeah. He trained <laughs> yeah. all three movies. Well, he is a do-nothing from the get-go. Yeah, he's a do-nothing nobody who trained for all three movies to become great. And that's true. Which is why we'll, we would still hold, like, Anakin, like, high up in a pedestal. And also re regard, like, Vader as, like, a, a really bad person to deal with. Mm -hmm. And then you got Luke, who was a do-nothing son of a somebody. Son of a shepherd, really. Yeah. Well, the nephew of a shepherd. <laughs> yeah. Of a moisture farmer. <laughs> he, was, he, was a, he was a do nothing son of a somebody who trained for two movies. And then we have Ray, who's a do nothing nobody. Who trained who, for, like... A maybe, third of a movie, maybe like twenty twice. minutes. Maybe like twenty minutes each movie. Yeah. Of she, course, like yeah. She trained for a third of a movie twice and bested someone that trained underneath a dude. A, yeah. A uh, do nothing somebody, who's the son of a somebody. Yeah, Kylo Ren, like, he's a big baby, but like he's been trained. He's trained. <laughs> he's trained. He's trained enough to be considered. A, a Sith Lord. Yeah. And, you know, like, it really shows. Like, you wouldn't see it by his, based on his characters in, like, especially the first movie, but, like, for sure, like, he's he's really good. Yeah, he throws tantrums, but that's just because he has a shit personality. Doesn't yeah. mean he's not strong. He also has a terrible childhood. <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest. What, because his uncle tried to kill him in his sleep? Yeah. Then he also stabbed his daddy. <laughs> oh, he wasn't a child. Well, I... What can that's subjective? <laughs> he was maybe 20 ish. Yeah, he's grown. 
He's a man child, but he has redemption in him, possibly. And actually, no, they had they had a chance in the second movie, but then he was like, no, no, no. But this is pretty much like, yeah, this is the end trilogy, right? Yeah. Oh man, it's like so. Until Disney decides to crack open and another cold. trilogy. Yeah. yeah. The biggest question, of course, is like, why is Ray like in Sith robes with red lightsabers? So it's like, okay, something's off. I feel that that's not her. That's more of a subconscious bit of her that she's going to duel, much like uh, Luke had to fight Vader in the Dagobah forests. Mm. It was oh. more of a oh a mental battle than a real battle. So I think this is Ray looking at her evil self and it's like, I have to beat you to become the bed, the best good that I can be. Mm-hmm. But I, I I don't feel like I ever had any bad enemies. So I mean, let's fight anyway for the money. I don't know. Didn't really have such a strong impression except for some like visual aesthetics from the second one. So I'm really hoping that the story picks up. But you know what? If they show a shot of like Kylo Ren with a weird, awkward like block body, then I'm fine. Just bring Why, that back. <laughs> Why? Why do you look like that? I don't know. But do you know what I just thought about? Mm. What are Ray's motivations? Why did she go against the the Empire? Oh. Uh, mm, you know what? I feel like I would know this, and it's for somewhere like di- dug in, like from the first movie. Because as far as I know, from the first movie, it all started because they were going after uh, BB-8. Oh, right. as the droid. They were going to return BB-8 to its owner. Yeah, and she was just po. she just happened to be there. Mm-hmm. She and didn't really like, want to be part of it. Yeah, and she's like, "Well, fuck the Empire! They're trying to take this droid that I was trying to pawn off anyway." Hmm. And so they find Poe, and then he's part of the resistance. I think he tries to coerce uh, her and Finn, and works for Finn, and I guess she tags along too? Well, she ran into Finn. Right, right, right. She ran into Finn. Finn hopped in the fucking... Her and Finn hopped in the Millennium Falcon and started shenanigans. Yeah. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff. She could have just been like... Fuck all this. Take take the droid, dude. Just give me the money. Yeah, I I was trying to sell it. Can I get some sort of finder's fee for this? And if they say no, then yeah, I could understand it. Mm-hmm. I'm not that, to that, like that. that. Th- there's some motivation to it where it's like, okay, they didn't give me the money that I needed for tonight's dinner. Mm. You know, it's it's weird because you know I'll probably have to watch the movies again just to understand like Ray's character a little bit more. Uh, but at the very least, I can understand like Finn for a little bit, where it's just like I gotta get out of here. Oh shit! Where's where's my guy? He was cool, and then's like, oh shit! Who's who's this like, would be no girl? I kind of like her though. Okay, I'll go. The three protagonists, I can understand their well, all except for Ray. I can understand their motivations. Anakin was abducted by space Jehovah Witnesses, <laughs> and was brainwashed into thinking that they're the bad guy. Luke had his family fucking burned alive in their own home that is a great reason to think yeah fuck those guys and everything that they're about ray didn't want to give up a droid that she was trying to get rid of i'll have to watch the movie again because i i would not validate that as a good reason i don't either i'd have to wiki it you know what that's what i gotta do i gotta wiki it after this but yeah you know what i'll still i'm still down for the like the aesthetics and everything like that and of course the soundtrack and everything but I don't know about, like, the motivations going on here. Like, like at this point, like, all characters are strapped in. They're going to have to go finish the fight no matter what. But as far as, like, what's in it for everyone else, especially for Finn. Well, Finn actually has his motivation. Someone actually sacrificed their life for someone. Yeah, I forgot the name of the person. Rose. But Rose. Finn's you. motivation was, okay, I'm entirely disenfranchised by the Empire. I just want to leave. Right. And they tried killing him, and it's like... I guess I'm a fugitive now. Yeah. I don't really have any other out. Yeah. All right. Wendy well, here. Uh, we won't really get too much until another trailer pops up or, you know. The movie comes out. Right. In December. Which is actually just a few months, so that's not too bad. Christmas. Christmas. All right. Wendy well, here. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Let us know what you think about the trailer. I hope someone knows the whole lightsaber spinning effect because I love that thing. Look it up. Oh, uh, it's funny. Yeah, hashtag bye everyone.